right, Arlene? You looking for some company? Sure, I've already got company. I see. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but I'm sure we can come to some sort of an arrangement. I know where she is. But it'll cost you. How much? 80. 80 pounds for directions? My Tom Tom cost less than that, and I bet you won't tell us in the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants. I could, but that'll cost you more. OK. She works for an house at the top end of Jutland Street. and try not to give them too many sweets. Nope, all fine here. The nurse has just gone to get a bigger speculum. Flat white, please. Apparently, my cervix is proving elusive. Oh, and, um, can I get a slice of red velvet? Make that two slices and a fork. Fork! Oh, yeah, it was a bit cold. Makeup. I always wear makeup to a smear test. The poor woman's had her hand in my vagina. The least I could do is put on a bit of lippy. Look, you'll be fine. I've got to go. I happen to like it here. It's my home. I'm a Felton girl through and through. I'm not just talking about crying. I want to make a difference, you know? These are my ends. <laughs> <laughs> Is that same bird from Strawberry Moons? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Vicky. I thought her name was Sarah. Dee, stop calling me at work. You have to let me move in. I can't take another minute in that hippie flat share hell hole! All right, calm down. <laughs> Sorry. It's very upsetting. I am literally living foot and mouth. Hand to mouth. Annette! So, what's the deal with Danny's mate Leon? Tell him one should have day, it'll hurt to pay. I could just jump on his car. I'm in Armstrong. Rosie Hines, please, thank you. Do you have an appointment? Yes. Hi, Rosie. I've got an Ahmed Armstrong here to see you. Hi, Rosie. Yeah, I can do that, no worries. Um, Rosie's actually in a meeting at the moment, so, um, yeah. Good night. Um, it, it's actually in, uh, it's an all-day meeting. He's still here. I can't. <sighs> okay. Well, I like Spanish guys. Oh, no, you don't. Why? <sighs> when I was 14, I went to Marbella, family holiday. Yeah. I accidentally shagged a Muslim. Yeah, did you? I did. It was only the next morning when I saw his dad by the poolside that I realised that he was a Muslim. Yeah. I just thought he had a really nice tan. 